rebels in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo have consolidated control over the Rabaya cotton mining region, imposing a production tax estimated to generate around $330,000 in monthly revenue, the United Nations Security Council had on Monday. The M23 movement sees the area which produces minerals using smartphones and computers following intense fighting in April. B. Tony Keita, head of UN mission in Congo, told the Security Council the trade from minerals in the Rabaya area accounts for over 15% of global tantalum supply. Congo is the world's top producer of tantalum, which is considered a critical mineral by the United States and the European Union. This generates an estimated $300,000 in revenue per month to the armed group, Keita said. This is deeply concerning and needs to be stopped. The criminal laundering of the DROC natural resources smuggled out of the country is strengthening armed groups, sustaining the exploitation of civil of civilian populations, some of them reduced to the de facto slavery and undermining peace-making efforts, Kieta added. The majority of Congo's mineral resources are situated in the east, a region Plowed by conflict over land and resources between several armed fractions or factions. The situation has deteriorated since the insurgence of resurgence of the M23 rebellion in March 2022. Thousands have been killed and over one million displaced since the resurgence in fighting. Manufacturers are under scrutiny to ensure the metals used in products such as laptops and batteries for electric vehicles are not sourced from conflict zones like Eastern Congo. How can they implement that 100% is not possible. So let us not deceive ourselves. Yes, if they want to do the right thing, first and foremost, whosoever is accusing who must come up with evidence. Just like Congo is accusing Rwanda of financing the M23, Congo must come out with its evidence. And if Rwanda found guilty, let Rwanda face the law. And the West, who are indirectly or directly, who are involved in this conflict, should take their hands off. The people of Congo deserve to live in peace. The people of Congo deserve to enjoy the proceeds of their natural resources. The people of Congo deserve to dictate how their natural resources should be sold, both at the domestic and at international level. That is just the truth. Keita said that as profits from mining have surged, Armed groups have become militarized entrepreneurs, making them stronger both military and financially. Unless international sanctions are imposed on those benefiting from this criminal trade, peace will remain elusive and civilians will continue to suffer, Kieta said. You can't even impose proper sanctions on areas like that because there is conflict. Yes. So, and it's high time these people from the West should stop this, their sanctioning whatever. Because this, their sanction is another way to bully people around to do their bid. Because as long as you don't want to do their own bidding, they will come with their so-called sanction. That is what they are good in doing. Yes. So, it's only small, small countries, they always try to bully around with their sanctions. Big countries always find their ways around. And the margins of bricks will put an end to this, their sanction weapon. Their, these sanctions has turned out to become a weapon for them to other people around. BRICS will put an end to that very soon.